Bill Taylor joins us with a closer look at Hurricane Laura and landfall. Bill. Sharon, two big changes on this storm. The strengthening, of course, and its display as it really starts to show us a distinct structure of a mature hurricane. You're getting that real good convective wrapping around the storm center. We're starting to see a good eye develop in Laura, and we're moving this storm into a very ripe area of the central Gulf. In fact, a water temperature buoy here at 87 degrees just out to the west where Laura is heading. You can see that eye trying to form right here. And again, those spiral bands beginning to really wrap around the center as this storm matures and gets really, really strong. You can see the convection on infrared satellite measuring with cloud cover. The coldest temps are the highest and you can see those purples. I mean, this storm is really starting to strengthen and intensify. It's still about 500 miles off the coast of Louisiana, producing winds of 80 miles per hour. We do expect category two status by tomorrow and category three status at landfall. Moving west northwest at 17 miles per hour brings it on shore some, sometime between 1 and 2 a.m. Thursday with again 115 mile per hour winds. We've got team coverage on the impacts for Texas and Louisiana coming up. But in the meantime, make sure to download the Ken's 5 app. You can be tracking this storm with radars from the palm of your hand 24-7.